Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Our Catholic Prayers Podcast. I'm Christopher Castagnoli for OurCatholicPrayers.com. These invocations to the precious blood of Jesus that I'm about to recite are an especially good way to acknowledge Christ's sacrifice for us at Calvary. Each of them make good short prayers, also known as aspirations, that can be easily memorized, and together they form a touching and timeless prayerful tribute to our Lord's saving graces 2,000 years ago and today as well. They provide some moving material for meditation on His Passion, as well as on our need for His love and mercy as we seek to do His will. The line about the Sacred Heart of Jesus in one of these invocations reminds us of a well-known devotion to our Lord's Sacred Heart in mentioning that wondrous event when Longinus thrust his spear into our Lord's side upon his death and blood and water flowed out. As we read in John's Gospel, chapter 19, verse 34. When we read of dying to self-love, incidentally, this does not in any way contradict one of the two great commandments that Jesus referred to in his words to ascribe, to love your neighbor as yourself. This refers rather to the concupiscent me first kind of selfish love we all fall prey to at one time or another. We get a wonderful sense in some of these lines of the life source and force that is Jesus' precious blood. And the beauty of this is that his precious blood was not just depleted from his sacred body on our behalf almost 2,000 years ago in his ignominious crucifixion, we can partake of it as baptized Catholics in a state of grace free from mortal sin in the host we consume in Holy Communion at Mass. This first line makes an especially good aspiration you can say at any time of the day to help the Church as well as yourself and your fellow sinners. These invocations, each one its own short prayer, follow. Eternal Father, I offer Thee the precious blood in atonement for my sins and for the needs of Holy Church. Precious blood of Jesus, shed in the circumcision, make me chaste of mind, heart, and body. Precious blood oozing from every pore in the agony of Jesus, grant me to love above all things the holy and adorable will of God. Precious blood, flowing abundantly in the scourging at the pillar, inspire me with a keen sorrow for my sins and a love of suffering. Precious blood, falling in profusion from the crown of thorns, grant me a love of humiliations. Precious blood, furrowing the way to Calvary, fill me with courage to walk unfalteringly in the bloody footsteps of Jesus. Precious blood, shed so profusely in the crucifixion of my Jesus, make me die entirely to self-love. Precious blood, shed to the very last drop by the opening of the sacred heart of Jesus, give me that generous love that sacrifices all for God. Precious blood, Sacred source from whence flow all graces, apply thine infinite merits to my soul. Precious blood, whose virtue animates and vivifies our actions, apply thine infinite merits to all our works. Life-giving fountain, in which the soul fully slakes its thirst, saturate me with pure love. O divine blood of my Jesus, I adore thee from the depths of my heart. Thee I fervently invoke, for thou art my salvation, and by thee I hope to obtain the joys of paradise. Eternal Father, be merciful, 
for the sake of the blood of thine only begotten Son. We beseech thee, show us thy mercy. Most precious blood of Jesus, cry to the Heavenly Father for mercy for us and deliver us. Thanks for listening. I'm Christopher Castagnoli for OurCatholicPrayers.com. Please feel free to share this podcast. And if you're listening to it on YouTube or some other host that allows you to subscribe to podcasts, we'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Our Catholic Prayers podcast channel. Until next time, God bless.